So next step, from my perspective, is going to be putting the motor on. And the motor's going to go right here. That's about center. Now, that is eight inches. I'm going to put the motor centered at four, which is right there, actually. So I'm going to, I like the way that looks, and the measurement seems to confirm it. So I'm going to put a mark. Got to get rid of that tape. I'm going to put a mark about the center of the motor mount. Right about there. And I'm going to put a mark right about four here. So I've got the two of them, I'll have the two of them lined up a little bit. Make that easier on myself. Bottom of the motor mount is going to have double sided. Now, although I want this to be as stable as possible because I'm going to hopefully be flying it at fairly high speeds, I also want to be able to remove it. I want to be able to put a different motor on. This is the whole reason I have to build this plane again, because I've built three of them without the ability to remove the motors. So, if I make the ability to replace the motor when I get bored of one motor, or a motor dies, then I don't have to do a big hatchet job on my entire plane to get uh, to put a new motor on it. So press that in nicely. This is, uh, I think it's Scotch brand, you can see there, Scotch brand 3M tape. Uh, it's double-sided outdoor carpet tape. It's the one with the big warning that you'll never be able to get it off of stuff. Uh, the truth is it does come off, but not easily. And that's exactly what we want. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to line up my two pieces and hope that that's fairly close to lined up with the front of the plane. There we go. Now Ed from Experimental Airlines actually mounts his using something very similar, a double sided tape. And he says he doesn't need anything else. And it's true, um, that'll work. Um, it would come off in a crash, which, uh, which isn't such a bad thing having, your, having it come off in a crash. But I just can't afford to have it possibly come off mid-flight. So I'm going to take a uh, length of tape here. Now what I'd really like to use is Gorilla Tape, which I have, but I only have in black. So I'm kind of wondering here what I should do. I have the best possible combination of looks and stability. Now I've got some duct tape here. It's orange that I haven't used before. I'm all for experimenting with this. So the problem is, of, of course, the packing tape. It doesn't go. Uh, it's great for straight lines. But as soon as you have a little bit of a problem, like a corner to go around or or a hump to go over, you're, you could have issues. So let's see. This is orange, so it's fairly close to the color that we want for the plane. Take a strip about that long. Feel free to leave in the comments if this kind of thing happens to you. Try that again. One more time with feeling. This time we'll cut right through it. Okay. I need to go underneath those wires. Just like that. Just like that.
So that's phase one. So now we have the double-sided carpet tape. Pulling it on. And we have a piece of orange duct tape. On top of it. Now I've got to believe that that's going to stay anyway. Okay, give yourself another 10 seconds, John, and then give up on that idea. Good enough. Here's the end. Make a clean cut. See, once your scissors get that stuff on it, it's all over. Okay, this I think this might be easier if I have this other end to use as leverage. Right in there. Get it a little bit more in there. So what I my goal here is to go a little bit past the duct tape. It's a tough spot. There we go. Looking good, looking good. And a little past the duct tape on this side. That's a thing of beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I'm going to grab this by the motor mount, reef on it a little bit. I think that's pretty good. Johnny is happy. So now, I want to switch my motor. Make a cut here, and a cut here. Pry it off. It may it may pry off the uh, the packing tape underneath, but big deal. I'll just put another strip of packing tape right across. Unlike unlike the problem here, I can have you know the packing tape go right across here. It'll be nice and sturdy, and then I can mount a new motor on it. So I think I think that's a, just a tiny bit ingenious. Uh, of course, all credit goes to to Ed for his. Uh, his ideas on experimental airlines with his motor mounts. Um, just kind of adapting it here to my to my wing. Pretty happy.